Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 62 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So you can see we have a dipole. And this dipole just included two point charge. One is positive E, another one is negative E. So these two charge is one is positive, one is negative, but both of them carry just one fundamental charge, and this one we can call the Q, right? We can write it there as 1.6 times 10 power negative 6 coulomb. It also tells us the distance between these two charges is 0 0.8 uh, nanometer. So you, oh sorry, you write it there. So there we use the unit vector. So this uh, Nm, Nm becomes the 10 power negative 9 meter. So you can convert this unit. This is nanometer. The next one tells you the electric field that is, uh, in this region is given at zero. We just uh, write down all the given quantities. The, then we can say, first of all, ask you to find the dipole's moment. So easy, right? We learned in this chapter, this is just uh, the function in our chapter. You get the dipole's moment, mom, moment as the charge times the distance between them. So input the known quantity inside, get the answer zero. The next one is uh, get the dipole's torque and uh, when it is per per uh, perpendicular to the field. So as we know, uh, for the dipole torque, the dipole's torque, it is a PE, size it, right? You can say P is uh, uh, given at uh, part A, E is given, so it looks like we need to find a theta. So it tells you the theta can be found perpendicular to the field. So the theta is 90 degree. So you input the known quantity, get the answer there. The next one tells you we still need to find the dipole's torque. By this one, the, there is an angle of 45 degree to the field. So in this case, we write down the theta as 45 degree and input the known quantity, get the answer there. The next one asks you the work required to rotate the dipole from being rotated parallel to the anti parallel to the field. So now we first we write down the work done by the dipole, right? So the work done by the dipole, you can see it is a negative PE cosine theta. This is also in our textbook. You can copy it. And then at initial, the angle is a parallel to the field. So theta 1 is 0. Then it rotates to anti parallel to the field, so the theta 2 is 180 degree, right? Input all the known quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.